Today we are going to prepare the quality takeoff for beam in columns and then figure out the cement bag, sand and crush required for the particular mix design. Hey everyone, welcome back to Civil Builders. I am engineer Arsalan. In this video, we start by reviewing the drawings and extracted the required dimensions. These dimensions will then be input into Excel spreadsheet to manually calculate the concrete volumes as well as quantity for cement bag, sand and crush zone. Next, we use Revit to perform the same calculations automatically using its built-in tools. Finally, we compare the results from both methods and review them. Our first step is to review the drawing and check the structural details of the required structural member. For instance, we need to review the structural details of column and beam. So first, we need to locate column layout plan. In our column layout plan, a unique ID is displayed beside each column that shows its identification number. From the column layout plan, we can check the exact locations from these grids as well as we check the number of columns that is played in this layout plan. To check the length and width of this column, we need to review the section details. The length and width of column C1 is 18 inch each. To find the column volume, we need to multiply length, width, and depth. As length and width we have taken from the cross section, for the depth we need to refer the section details. Well, to review the section details in Revit, we need to double click on this section head. The depth of column from the base to the ground floor is 13 and a half feet. Next, we input all these values in Excel workbook and perform calculations. Let's open the Excel workbook. Type column C1. Add its length, that is 18 inches. To convert into feet, we need to divide by 12. Similarly, the width is 1.5 feet. And the depth is 13 feet, 6 inches. To calculate the volume, we need to multiply all these three dimensions. For total quantity of this C1, to find the total quantity, we need to multiply this number column with the quantity column. So type equal to and then select the number cell and multiply it with the quantity cell. And again press enter to assign the formula. Now let's manually calculate the number of columns from the layout plan. Input the seven number in the number column. Similarly, we can calculate concrete volumes for remaining cross-section columns. For total quantity, add the sum formula. Type equal to and then use sum formula. Select the range of the cell and close the bracket. Let's head on to our next step where we calculate uh, cement bag, sand, and crush for this particular concrete volume. We need to use this formula for cement bags, sand, and crush calculation. So Type equal to and then select the cement ratio and divide it with the sum of the ratio. Multiply it with the concrete volume. Convert this wet volume into dry volume by multiplying with the factor and then divide it with the 1.226 cubic feet for a human back's calculations. For brief explanation, you can check my previous videos. You can find the link at the top right corner. For sand calculations, input the formula, select the sand ratio, 
divided with the total ratio and multiplied with the volume and convert this volume into dry volume. Similarly for crush, input the formula by equal to sign. Repeat the same steps for crush calculation. Select like the crush ratio divided with the total ratio. Multiply it with the volume and convert this volume into dry volume or multiplying with the factor. The benefit of this formula is that by changing the mix design. The values of semen bag, sand, and crush automatically changes. Till now, we perform quantity takeoff for columns. Now, let's turn to the beam layout plan for its calculation. Beam is represented with the dotted lines, and each beam has its unique ID. From this layout plan, we can have the length of this beam. And for the remaining two dimensions, we need to view the section layout plan. From the section layout plan, we can have the width and the depth to find the concrete volume for beams. We need to multiply the three dimensions, that is length, width, and depth. We can get the value of length from the floor plan. And for the width and depth, we can refer to the section details. Let's start calculating the concrete volumes for beam by using Excel. First, I calculate the beams along this X direction. We can get the value of length from this layout plan. For B1, the length is 17 and a half feet and 17 feet 9 inches. The total length is 53 feet. Input the value in the length column. For width and depth, refer to the section details. Uh, the depth is 18 inch and the width is 12 inches. To convert these values into inches, we need to divide these dimensions with 12. Well, to find the total volume, we need to multiply all these three dimensions. To calculate the total quantity, multiply the number column with quantity column. Add 1 in the number column. Repeat the same steps for other beams. Next, we calculate the volumes for beams along y-axis. The length of this B2 beam is 13 feet 3 inches and 10 feet 3 inches. The total length is 23.5 feet. Refer to the section details. As these two beams are identical, so I put two in front of uh, this beam. By adding these two dimensions, I got 10.625 feet. The cross section is similar. For two identical beams, add two. By adding these dimensions, it 
increase the range for the sum function. The total volume that we got for this beams are 400 cubic feet. Additionally, let's calculate the cement bags and end crush. Add equal to to assign the formula. Then select the cement ratio divided with the total ratio. Multiply with the total quantity. And again, multiply with the factor and divide it with 1.2 to 6 cubic feet. Now for sand, select the sand ratio, divide it with the total ratio. Multiply it with the total quantity and factor. From now onwards, we will perform the same calculation using Revit. So let's jump to the Revit screen. Navigate to the View tab and from this Schedule drop-down, select Material Takeoff. And from this window, select Structural Column and click OK. And from this window, select the required parameters. To shift these parameters from the left box to the right side, use this arrow. Now select the required parameters one by one. And click OK to form a table. We can add parameters from the properties panel. Now let's filter it by worksat and click OK. To generate the total of the material area and material volume, Go to the Filter tab, and from the Sorting and Grouping, select the Grand Total option. And then again, to the Formatting tab, select the Material Volume and Material Area, and click on this Calculate Totals. And again, press OK. Now we see that the total value is displayed at the footer of these columns. Next, we generate quantity takeoff for cement, sand, and crush as per required mixed design. For that purpose, we need to add three more columns to this field. Click on this Added Field option. And add more parameters like cement ratio, coarse aggregate ratio, and sand ratio. We can rearrange the parameters by using this arrow. Now let's add calculated parameters to calculate the total ratio. And add the formula. Total ratio is the sum of semen sand and coarse aggregate ratio. And click OK to apply. For semen bags, add a new calculated value. Rename it as semen bags and assign the formula. And click OK to apply. Similarly, add new calculated values for sand. And lastly, add the calculated value for crush. Click OK to apply. For total value of C1 bags, Sand and Crush, go to the Pomading tab. Select Semen Bag, Sand and Crush, and from this drop down, select Calculate Total and click OK to apply. 
now let's head on towards the beam calculation. So first navigate to the view tab and from this structural drop down select the material takeoff and select structural framing and click OK to apply. Select the required field and shift them towards the right side. Rearrange from this arrow. Navigate to the filter tab and filter by work set. And then uh, in the sorting and grouping, sort by mark. Check this grand total option and click OK to apply. To calculate the total value of length, area and volume, navigate to the formatting tab, select the material area, volume and length and check calculate total option. Once again, repeat the same steps for cement bags, sand and crash for B. Go to the added field options and select cement, core segregate, and sand. Rearrange them. Add a new calculated value for total ratio. Assign a formula from these three dots. and click OK to assign the formula. Now add a new calculated parameter for C1 bags. Assign the formula and click OK to apply. Same goes for send. And lastly, add the formula for crush and click OK to apply. For total value, go to the formatting tab, select the last three and check this calculate total option. That's all for today's video. In the next video, we'll proceed further. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.